Hello everyone. In this particular video, we are going to discuss about question number 60 of GATE a DA exam 2024. Okay. So this question is based on the limit. So this is the question. Evaluate the following limit. So limit is limit x tends to 0 log of x square plus 1 into cos x divided by x square. Okay. So whenever you will get such type of question to find out the limit. What you will do, you will generally try to put, you generally try to put the limit first. It is basically x equals to 0 here. If you put x equals to 0 here, what you will get? ln of 0 plus 1 into cos 0, right? This one, instead of x, just put 0. And here x square is basically 0 only. So cos 0 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 into 1 is 1, and ln of 1 is 0. So, this particular limit is in the form of 0 by 0, right? So, this is basically indeterminate form. Indeterminate form. If you come across 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity form like this, then you can apply L hospital rule. Okay, then you can apply L hospital rule. So, we have discussed what is L hospital rule in the lectures, right? Same we can apply here also, right? So, what is L hospital rule here? Like suppose I have this limit, limit x tends to a, we have a numerator and a denominator like, like this expression, right? And after putting the value of a in the numerator as well as denominator, if I am getting 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity like this, then I can apply L hospital rule. So what is L hospital rule? Basically, I can take the derivative of numerator and denominator separately, right? So limit x tends to a is equals to limit x tends to a derivative of numerator divided by derivative of denominator right separately so remember that we are taking the derivative separately right not the quotient rule here okay also after taking derivative we will try to put the limit here and again if we got 0 by 0 form or infinity by infinity form then again we take the derivative so again limit x tends to a second derivative of numerator divided by second derivative of denominator right so after putting the value of a so, so after putting the value of x here if i got again 0 by 0 form or infinity by infinity form then again i uh, do a derivative and then again try to put the limit right so if we calculate the limit of original expression or derivative of that like this we are going to get the same limit only so, this is what the L hospital rule is. Okay. Now, let's try to apply here. Now, if you try to apply this rule here, so what you need to do, you need to take the derivative of numerator divided by derivative of denominator, right? So, if you take like this, limit x tends to uh, 0. So, what is derivative of numerator? So, first, derivative of ln, right? That is basically 1 by fx. So, 1 by x square plus 1 into cos x into derivative of inside this function, right? That is basically x square plus into cos x. Now, here the function is x square plus 1 into cos x and we need to take the derivative of this one, right? Derivative of x square plus 1 into cos x like this, right? Divided by the derivative of denominator, that is basically 2x only. Now, just simplify that limit x tends to 0 1 by x square plus 1 into cos x into now just take the derivative of this two thing if you observe here we have two function x square plus 1 into cos x so we need to apply a product rule here of derivative so what is product rule of derivative i am writing it here so suppose i have this function derivative of f of x into g of x Suppose I have this two function, product of two function. Then how to apply a derivative of this two uh, function? So what we have to do? First, take any one expression, okay? As a first expression, keep it as a constant, f of x, then the derivative of g of x plus, then g of x will be treated as a constant into derivative of f of x, right? f dash of x. So this is how we can apply a product rule here for derivative okay so now just apply here so first x square plus 1 as it is into a derivative of cos x that is basically minus sin x right 
then plus cos x has a constant into derivative of x square plus 1. That is basically 2x. So, divided by 2x. So, either you can simplify this or directly put the value of limit. If you put the value of limit, what you will get? 0 plus 1, 1 into cos 0, 1. So, 1 into sin 0, 0, 0, 0. So, 0 sin 0, 0 plus 0. So, basically, the numerator will be 0. Again, denominator will be 0. So, again, you got 0 by 0 form. Now, if you got 0 by 0 form, again, you need to apply L hospital rule here. So, basically, again, you need to take the derivative of this one like this. But you can try to simplify this. So, how we can simplify this one? I can rewrite this expression like this. Limit x tends to 0, x square plus 1 minus sin x, right, plus 2x into cos x divided by x square plus 1 into cos x into twice x. I can just simplify like this, right? So, basically the same thing only. Now, just separate the denominator, right, using this plus 1. So, what I can get? Limit x tends to 0 minus x square plus 1 sin x divided by x square plus 1 cos x into 2x plus limit x tends to 0, right? So, 2x into cos x divided by 2x into x square plus 1 into cos x, right? So, I can just separate this by using plus a term here, right? So, just simplify this now. x square plus 1, x square plus 1 will, will get cancelled here. Sin x divided by cos x is basically a tan x. So, I can write like this. Limit x tends to 0 minus tan x divided by 2x plus this 2x, this 2x will get cancelled. This cos x, this cos x will get cancelled, right? So, limit x tends to 0, 1 by x square plus 1, right? Now, just try to put the limit here. So, if you observe, we have one important property here. So, I am writing the property here. So, very important trigonometric property. Limit x tends to 0, tan of mx divided by x is basically m, okay? So, whenever my limit x tends to 0, the term tan mx divided by x will approach the m. So, here m is basically 1. So, I can say the value of limit x tends to 0 tan x divided by x is basically 1. So, if I just apply this particular trigonometric rule here, what I can write? Minus 1 by 2. Because tan x divided by x, limit x tends to 0, tan x divided by x is basically 1 only, right? Into 1. Plus, just put the limit here. So, 1 divided by 0 plus 1 is basically a 1. So, what I will get? Minus 1 by 2 plus 1. So, basically 0.5, right? So, 0.5 is the answer of this particular limit, right? So, this is how you can solve this type of question, right? Okay. So, in the gate exam, if you get such type of expression, just try to put the limit and see whether you are getting 0 by 0 form or infinity by infinity form, right? But if you are getting 0 by 0 form or infinity by infinity form, then apply L hospital rule. So, simple. You just need to take the derivative of numerator and denominator separately. That's it. But make sure to simplify this expression before applying the L hospital rule. Okay. I can solve this question in another way also. Right. So, let us discuss that thing also. So, in this approach, what we have done here. First, we have checked for 0 by 0 form, right? And then we apply L hospital rule here. And then we simplify this expression like this, right? By using plus term, we simply divide the two terms here using the denominator, right? But what we can do in another approach? So, let us discuss that also. So, this is my portion, right? Limit x tends to 0, ln of x square plus 1 into cos x, right? Divide by x square. Now, if you put limit here, you will get 0 by 0 form and then you will apply L hospital rule here. So, just look at this expression and think about how we can simplify this particular expression. So, if you remember the log properties ln of a into b equals to ln of a plus ln of b, right? 
I can write ln of a plus ln of b as ln of a into b and vice versa. So, this is what we have discussed in the first topic that is function of single variable. So, can we apply the same thing here? Let's try that. ln of, so limit x tends to 0, ln of x square plus 1 plus ln of cos x, right, divided by x square. So, by using this particular property, I can just write this like this, right, ln of x square plus 1 plus ln of cos x because these two are different expression right like for example this is a this is b so i can apply this particular rule here now again if you put limit here again you will get ln of 1 is 0 plus ln of 1 is 0 so 0 by 0 form so again try to simplify this limit x tends to 0 ln of x square plus 1 divided by x square plus ln of cos x divided by x square like this you can transfer the limit also, right? Limit x tends to 0, ln of x square plus 1 divided by x square plus limit x tends to 0, ln of cos x divided by x square, right? So you can transfer the limit here. Now again, if you try to put the limit, here you are getting 0 by 0 form. Here also you are getting 0 by 0 form, right? Now again you can apply L hospital rule here because I cannot simplify further. Now if you apply L hospital rule here and now you can take the derivative of numerator and denominator. So this will be much easier for you right. So ln of x square plus 1 into derivative of x square plus 1 that is basically 2x divided by derivative of x square that is basically 2x. 2x 2x will get cancelled plus again apply L hospital rule here. So, ln of cos x is basically 1 by cos x into derivative of cos x that is basically minus sin x divided by derivative of x square that is basically 2x. Same thing, right? Limit x tends to 0, 1 by x square plus 1 plus sin x divided by cos x is basically tan x. So, tan x by x minus 1 by 2, right? Again, limit x tends to 0 here. So, now just put the limit that is x equals to 0 here. So, here I will get 1 by 1 plus minus 1 by 2 into limit x tends to 0 tan x divided by x. So, we already discussed this basically equals to 1. So, equals to 1. So, here also I got 0 0.5 as the answer, right? So, either you can follow this particular approach, first try to apply L hospital rule and then simplify or you can first simplify the expression and then try to apply L hospital rule, okay. So, always think about how we can simplify this particular expression and then try to put the limit, right. So, simplifying the expression, simplifying the expression is the first step, okay. So, in second step, try to put the limit, put the limit and see what you are getting, right. So, simplifying the expression is the first step that you need to follow. Instead of just transferring the limit, here also you can apply the L hospital rule if you are comfortable without uh, transferring the limit to individual term, right. It depends on you, okay. So, simplifying the expression is the first step that you need to do. Otherwise, in some cases, the Calculation will get complicated if you again take the derivative of a numerator or denominator, right? First, always think how I can simplify this particular expression. Then try to put the limit, okay? I hope you understand the particular concept. We will discuss similar type of question in the test as well as in the practice example, okay? So, that's it. Thank you.